welcome to our channel. We're Derek Sinaka LeGrant of DIY Power Couple. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install a dishwasher in 10 easy steps. Let's get into it. Okay, the first thing we always do is check to make sure the electricity is off. Shut it off. Then you wanna turn off your water. For this, you have to go under your sink and turn off the shutoff valve that is connected to your dishwasher hose. For some people, you have to go to your main water line or water heater inside your home to turn off the water. The reason why you turn off all water is so that you don't forget to do it before you unbox and work on your new dishwasher. Step three, the clear plastic tube is your dishwasher water drain hose. On the back of the dishwasher, use pliers to open the clamp and place it over the front end of the rubber hose. Place it on the dishwasher water drain spout by gently twisting until it is over the lip and give it a slight tug. Take the front end of the hose and use a screwdriver to loosen the clamp. Place it on the water drain under your sink. Tighten the hose with your screwdriver and prepare for step four. Grab the brass water inlet valve and screw it to the flexible water connector on the front left side of your dishwasher. Make sure that it is turned in the same direction where your water line connects to your sink. Feed your water line hose through the hole under your sink. And connect your hose to your dishwasher shutoff valve by hand. Then tighten it with pliers or a crescent wrench. Step five is when you take the electrical power cord and plug it in at the back of your dishwasher. You can secure it by wrapping it under the safety latch. Take the cord and move it along with the dishwasher into the empty space. Make sure to feed it through the hole under your sink so that it's near the outlet. Hey guys, we have a little situation. We found out that the old dishwasher we had was hardwired. Yes. But we need a new electrical outlet to plug in the new cord for the new dishwasher. If you have a hardwired dishwasher, check out the link in the description to see how to convert a hardwired dishwasher to a plug-in with an electrical outlet. If you have a newer setup, you may only need to plug in your dishwasher at a later step. In step six, you can use a screwdriver placed in the grooves to raise the dishwasher. Or you can just lift the dishwasher with one hand and twist the leveling legs with a finger. Use a leveler to make sure the dishwasher is level on the right and left sides as well as the front and back. Remember to raise the back leveling legs. On some models, you can use screws to secure the leveling legs so the dishwasher doesn't lower accidentally after it has been installed. Make sure to screw the left leg, right leg, and any legs that may be in the back of the dishwasher. Step seven is when you remove the foam and other items that are inside of your new dishwasher. Make sure you look inside of both the top and bottom trays. Step eight calls for installing the mounting kit, which includes mounting brackets and screws. Place the bracket on top of the dishwasher over the pre-drilled holes and use your screwdriver to secure it in place. Now do the same thing to the right mounting bracket. Use needle nose pliers to fold the metal bracket backwards until it is flush with the next section. Fold the right bracket in the same way. 
Use your finger as a guide and a brace so you don't bend it in the wrong way. Push the dishwasher under the countertop and make sure the rubber slits are even on the right and left side. The dishwasher should be about 1 8 of an inch away from the bottom of the counter. Screw in the left mounting bracket using a drill. It should be very easy to do. Then screw in the right mounting bracket. If your model has kick plate insulation made out of the felt material, you can install it by placing it over the brass inlet connector and around the waterline hose. Take the kick plate or toe kick panel and place it under the dishwasher. Use your drill to screw in the left screw and the right one. Okay, so we installed the dishwasher and turn the power back on. So we're going to see if it works now. Okay, so we plugged it in and we see that it is on. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, share with your family and friends and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell. <laughs> and remember, you can DIY too. DIY Power Couple YouTube channel is your source to help you unleash your inner DIY power.